Well, I'm gonna take a short video here at Pat Truck to show you how well it's doing. It's beautiful tree right here that you saw in the thumbnail. Uh, and you can see just plenty of, uh, it's doing great here. Plenty of places occupied here. Uh, not much vacancy. This is the South Shore. This is where it's all about, you know? So we'll show you here. We got a new place coming soon. All these trendy places here. This isn't going to be a long video. I just want to show you how well it does on the South Shore. When you look at Port Washington and you look at this, is the area is doing a lot better because almost all the stores are taken. You can see that, right? There's actually not much vacancy at all. If you wanted to come here and open a business, you can't even get in. Because there's not even any vacancy. The new place coming there, coming soon, it says. It's just town just as great. And even though it's a chilly, and it's it is a chilly Tuesday, we still have, ooh, it was an AMG. Uh, it's an AMG over there. A lot of people with money here. It's all certain demographic. Yep, got music. Gotta be careful. So you get these trendy bars. It's trendy sports bars. It's not too busy right now. Because it's not. But if you're here in the evening, man, it's hopping. There's still people around, so. You know? Just wanted to take a short, being that I've got about it. Half an hour before my train comes, I figured I'd walk around and show you just how well it's doing here. And again, you contrast this to the middle of the island and even the North Shore. You know, there's just plenty of businesses here. They all want to come here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go. I usually just brought it. Oh, okay. Thank you. They all want to come here. Here's a luxury apartment building, 31 West. Nope, me, us peons like me wouldn't be able to live here. Nope, that's what it looks like in here. That, that's fancy, I'm not even asking for that at this point. Or is the bus going back? This is the bus I had going. 70, actually that might be a different one. 70, 71. No. See how well everything is taken care of. Nice and clean. So you got nice new apartment buildings. But it's all for a certain demographic. Yeah, that is for sure. Now we're gonna cross the street. I think we're not walk too much further. The apartments on top and businesses down below. You can see most of them are occupied. Whereas Morgan Park is still, except for the Starbucks, is still mostly empty. Because again, the businesses want to be on the South Shore. They want to be on the South Shore. They don't want to be in the middle of the island. Plenty of nice places there. Got this place here. Looks like there's some people in there. Not going to get too nosy. But, uh, yeah. This is where you got to be. Even the North Shore isn't doing this well. It's only you only see these store these towns that have all this occupancy on the South Shore. Um, because it's all about the South Shore. I mean, there's very little vacancy here. Contrast that to Port Washington, where where like Port Washington is about, I would say, 30 to 30 percent vacancy. Here, I think we have one vacancy that we're going to see, and that's going to be it. See, there's always a place coming soon. See, you don't see that in Port Washington. You just see for rent signs. 
There's one spot for rent. And I'm sure we'll get snatched up pretty soon. And yeah, these two here are available. It's like looks like this place wind up wound up going out. But I'm sure it will get replaced very soon. This is a new place that's gonna be opening really soon. Dirty taco. This place is undergoing some renovations. Oh, it's nice and clean. Not a speck of dirt. Everything is nice and clean. It's got that clean look. You notice all the towns in the South Shore have that nice clean look. And here's another one for rent. So there are a couple for rent here. You have three. I'm sure they'll all get taken up though eventually. Got these fashion boutiques. You know, this is the demographic you have to be with if you want to be in a successful town that has business and in, in investment and in is in taken care of. This is the demographic you got to be with. I'm gonna go this way. And let's see, this place not open today, I guess. Shoot, we're gonna walk on the other side. Let's go to that side. Just look at how beautiful everything looks. How nice the clean, smooth the streets are. I was just in that building there. There's an elevator. It's going to be the shortest elevator video you've ever seen because I walk in the elevator and there's only, it's an old Dover, but there's only one button for one floor and that's it. It's the strangest thing. It's the strangest thing, I'm telling you. There you go, here's one available, but I mean, most of the space sp spots are taken. You know? Everything is just doing great here. Another place. A lot of these restaurants may not be open now, they probably only open at night. Some of them, some of them aren't even open every day. But, uh, yeah. You can see how great it is here. Everything is just taken care of. Look at that, nice and clean. Smooth jazz, all right, we don't want to get a copyright, but that's the kind of music I like to hear playing in the background, not, not ghetto crap music, you know? Unless you get on the South Shore, you know? It's just the coveted, desirable area that everybody wants to be living in, you know? And meanwhile, all the towns on the North Shore, such as Port Jefferson and Smithtown, they're all struggling. They are all struggling. Let me get across the street here. Beautiful little park. Even the crossing guard agreed with me. I was telling her, it's a beautiful town. And she notices it too. Everybody knows the South Shore is what's taken care of. You want to move here? You can't because there's nothing even available. Even if you want it, it's all full. Everybody wants to be here. Living the good life. But, yeah, it's not for us. It's only for them. Only for a certain demographic. But, I always love showing you the contrast. How great it is down here. and How the middle and even the North Shore are struggling. It's just all about the South Shore. That's what it's all about. That's the... I mean, my saying for Long Island, obviously when I do my nature videos, it's all about those great shapes of the Pine Barrens, but on Long Island, the Long Island's catchphrase is, it's all about the South Shore. You've got to be on the South Shore. You've got to be with these finance professionals, these white finance professionals, uh, to, otherwise you're just going to get left behind. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. It's not fair. 
I wish it would change. That's when we keep talking about it. All right, so that's gonna be it. Actually, it's not it, because I want to show you again how their infrastructure is taken care of. Notice the nice new poles they have there. We don't get any of that. I just wish the fortunes of the middle of the island would change. I don't know what it's gonna take for that to happen. Again, see, they got those nice modern signals there. We don't have, we're not gonna get those kind of signals on the main line. We're getting reduced aspect. There's two Suffolk County transit buses. It's just so unfair what's happening and it makes no sense. As you look at green leaves here, a reminder of climate change, green leaves in mid-November. Of course this area will be subject to flooding, but Wall Street doesn't listen to common sense. There's the demographics. It makes no sense at all. I don't want to have to live on the South Shore, but um, given the options that I have in the middle of the island to use the path that's heading in, um, I'd rather fight to live on the South Shore than wind up living in New Jersey where it's tremendously hotter and more difficult for me to survive. Uh, I don't care what these certain demographics says about money be with their own kind. Um, you know how I feel. So, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. And if you live on the South Shore, consider yourself extremely lucky.